Welcome back to the TCR Show 2011. I'm joined by Phil and Mark. Phil, it's lovely to have you with us and Mark. Um, you're doing something very interesting at the moment. You're putting together a, a, a time trial team. Get that out. <laughs> time trial team. Tell me a little bit more. Um, yeah, okay. We've um, we've been uh, doing triathlons and geoathlons throughout the year. Mark's been a time trialist, and last year, um, with nearby our sponsors, um, we decided to put a time trial team together for this coming season, um, with the aid of um, sponsorship for the whole of this year, and see how it goes. Um, and John was kind enough to say, "Yeah, let's go for it." So we've just designed some kit up. Been training hard over the winter and are about to race um, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, t tell us a little bit about the race tomorrow. Then, are you looking forward to it? Absolutely. Yeah, we've um, we've got one of the toughest 25 mile time trials in the country at this time of year tomorrow called the Ely 25 Hard Riders. Ely District Hard Riders. Yeah, Ely and District Hard Riders. Um, and it's up around the, the Fen area. Um, so we're expecting strong winds tomorrow and um, plenty of rain. So it's a 25 over towpaths, all that sort of thing, and it's renowned to be a hard race, so uh, we're both looking forward to it. So the, the team at the moment is just you two, but eventually you're looking to obviously build on the numbers. Absolutely, yeah. We've got um, myself and Mark at the moment, um, we're going to see how it goes for this season. There's another up-and-coming young cyclist, 16-year-old Jermaine Burton, who um, is also Neovite sponsored. And he's been doing very, very good things with um, uh, hill climbs, the Beck Hill Climb Championship, where he came first this year, uh, beating a couple of professional cyclists. So we're hoping to get him in, not necessarily on a time trial basis, but uh, as a road racing um, style wing to the team. So that's uh, further on the year. So we're still looking to do that. You're mentioning Nearvite, which is the name of the team. Is that the time trial team? Tell us a little bit more about the product itself. Okay, well we've, um, myself I've been sponsored since 2004 by Neovite, by John Rolfs and um, I was doing the dual um, duathlon championships and I, on my build up to training in that year um, I had a lot of um, IBS type problems with my gut because I was training too hard, getting run down um, a lot. I researched the internet at the time and uh, found John's product and his website, uh, read into what colostrum can actually do for you and your health. Um, with recovery factors and also to help support your immune system and um, phoned John, um, had a chat with him and luckily ended up sponsor sponsored by him um, and from that point onwards my IBS um, symptoms disappeared within six months and my recovery between sort of very tough training sessions as you well know um, was quite incredible. Um, so it's, over the last five years, um, you know, I very rarely get run down with colds and things like that, and um, it's just a great supportive food to take. So have you guys got a website or anywhere people can go to find out more about you if they want to know about the team? Well, the plans are, um, we've got www.nearvite.com, which is John's site, um, but we're also going to do, um, there's lots of video stuff on there, but we're also going to try and get some video off of the site as well to sort of represent the team, myself and Mark once we sort of make, get some video shots on some of the time trials this year and at various meetings that we go to. So the plan is to actually sort of get a little sub-site going. What times are you looking for tomorrow? Mark. Uh, anything around the hour mark with that course. I did an hour and one there last year, so anything under the hour will be an excellent result for us, I think. Yeah, I mean, that's, I might did a lot. I actually chickened out last year. It was too cold for me, but um, <laughs> it's persuaded me this year. And um, yeah, hopefully about the same. I and mean, we're, we're both going well in training at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Under the hour, hopefully. And how's the rest of the season looking for you? I think it's going to be a really good season for both of us. I mean, this year we've, we've made sure that we've concentrated on the right thing. Um, we've been going out to do lots of rides together, all the, the right type of riding. Um, I've been able to knock the swims and the runs on the head because I'm concentrating on the time trialing this year more, which has helped me with, again, with having extra energy to go out and do different bits and pieces. And um, yeah, I mean, we're hoping for good 10, 25, and 50 mile times. And also, we're looking at um, the um, 100 mile time trials sort of later on in, in the year with the national championships being thrown in then. So, 100 miler? Yeah. And what's your mileage been like just over the winter, sort of uh, an average weekly mileage? We've probably been averaging about 200 miles a week, but it's not just waste mileage. It's um, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be a coach as well, and um, we've sort of been concentrating on targeting quality training in, in between that as well. So there'll be a lot of turbo stuff going on there. Also, um, with regard to um, sort of club training that we do, um, we do we've been stepping up the through and off style training, sort of high efforts over an hour with some of the younger riders in the club that we've, we've also attached to, um, and that's definitely making a difference.
Well, it's lovely to talk to you. You will keep us updated with your results, and obviously we're going to be uh, interested to find out what happens tomorrow on that very windy, nasty course. Lovely. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you.